Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new, my name is Minion Cobra and I make minimalist videos. So today's video is going to be um, minimalism. Um, how I finally stopped desiring material stuff. Yeah. So without further ado, let's get to the video. Let's get it, let's go! Alright, so um... Yeah. If you guys have seen my other videos, um, I'm kind of on a roll right now. I'm pretty much like in this like zen mode of like not desiring material stuff and uh yeah um for those of you who may not have seen my previous stuff um i'm kind of like the rebel minimalist um i made a lot of videos last year um talking about things that i still do that are that are not like mi minimalistic because at the time i had been a minimalist for about two years so i kind of like in that stage of my life i felt like okay I've learned this and this is where I'm at and I still have these desires so I felt kind of like but I'm a minimalist because I own little and I do have a lot of minimalistic tendencies so it's kind of like a practical minimalist I use the principles because I do believe I still believe minimalism is just a tool it's not an end goal in itself so I felt like I'm gonna use it what's as it suits me but there was still a lot of things that I you know at the time had hence I called myself a rebel minimalist because I still desired material stuff I still like to buy shoes here and there it you know I kind of was like I saw at like the, uh, on a spectrum of minimalists there were those minimalists who just like owned nothing and extreme minimalists and because I had decluttered a lot of stuff and I went into deficiencies um, and I had a hard time about it. I was like, I thought that beyond that stage with those people. So I was like, well, I really don't want to end up like them. I, so I'm going to cling on to desire. If I want to buy new things, I'm going to buy new things. Um, whatever, whatever, you know. And I thought, well, if I'm going to buy things and I don't own much, I should be allowed to have the very best. But, um, yeah. Uh, how to put this like um when I became when I became vegan and I decided to extend that beyond what I ate because I was a vegan in my food but I still bought luxury stuff which is you know animal products I was like once I decided that I didn't want to consume materials you know uh, animal products like luxury stuff I was like well shit I can't buy luxury stuff and that was my epitome of buying the best I started to kind of like question myself you know and um I and I still okay I was like okay fine. I'll focus on other stuff. I'll focus on fancy toys. So I was just like always focusing my attention on material stuff, you know. Uh, kind of like for me, kind of one of the points where I was like, okay, this is getting out of hand when I was in the Hong Kong airport and I cried that I wasn't able to buy the iPhone. How stupid is that? Like, it, and even before that, um, that's just like the breaking point. I mean, like even before that, I was definitely really torn up inside about a lot of things being like, I was still focused on like, material stuff and anytime I bought something I felt torn because I bought something it's because of my values it's consumerism and I but and it's beyond my means because I'm forcing myself to always buy the best it was just I was always struggling and it was always just such an unpleasant experience shopping was so unpleasant because I felt really like torn between two worlds and I, I hated it and I was like there has to be more to this so yeah I decided you know I don't really quite know. I think it's like a combination of a lot of things, but I decided that I was finally ready to let go of desire. I was like, could I live my life without desire? Like, let's let's go there, you know. So, um, yeah, I guess the first thing was that I, yeah, like oh, like as I mentioned, yeah, I was still focused on material stuff. I wanted less stuff, but I wanted the best stuff, and it was just stuff, 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 stuff. So I was like, okay, I'm done. I'm done with desiring material stuff. So I kind of want to talk about today what I did instead to kind of help me get over the desire for material stuff. So the first thing that I did was I decided to focus on the spiritual side of things, the non-materialistic things. I thought that nothing exists in the material, I mean, in the non-material world, which is why I thought it's just, it's, there's no point. There's nothing there. It's just a void. So I'm going to stay within the material world. So that's why I was afraid to make that jump. But once I decided to go into the uh, spiritual world, and kind of examine that, I realized there's a lot here. Um, I don't know how to explain it. Like, I was just kind of scared to enter this realm. Like, I was scared to let go of desire. Because, like, firstly, like, I just thought, like, if I let go of desire, what will there be? And then I discovered there's, like, a void there. And I was like, I'm scared to enter that void. But once I, once I made the decision that I was going to let go of material stuff and just focus on whatever it is came out of the void... 
letting go of things just became so much easier. If you've seen my video, The Art of Letting Go, maybe I'll put a card here. Um, I entered that void and what I discovered in that void was there's a lot to do in life actually and, and there's actual joy and peace in the void. Um, yeah, I just decided to just go for it and I just, and in the spiritual sense, I also be, decided to be minimalistic about it. I wasn't going to think too deep about it. I was just gonna, like, I'm just going to practice meditating and I'm just going to enjoy simplicity. And once I did that, I discovered there's beauty in simplicity and I'm just going to, I don't want all that clutter and all that stress and all that pressure and all that confusion that came with desiring material stuff. I don't want that in my life anymore. Um, I think a viewer wrote uh, the Diderot effect. They told me to check it out and I checked it out and it was like, uh, that's the effect where it's like you purchase one thing and then it just spirals out of control um, because buying things opens up your appetite and you just keep buying more and more and more. And I was like, that's just... What I hated it when I bought something. I kept having that. And I was like, God freaking damn it. I thought it was a personality flaw, but it turns out this is actually human nature. So I was like, I don't even want to open that can of worms. I don't want to buy things anymore. I don't want to keep in that spiral of hyper consumption, you know? Because since I was a minimalist, I didn't let myself hyper consume. So I'd be stuck mentally hyper consuming in my head. And I just, I didn't have any mental capacity to do anything else. I just, I was always just busy thinking about the next stuff that I wanted to buy and I was just like could I just have a moment of peace could I just not be thinking about shopping I just I don't want it anymore I'm sick and tired of it so I tried it the, I think it was like the second day I came back to Tianjin second or third day or even the, the, the next day I was like Will wanted to go to the mall I was like let's go to the mall can I practice not desiring things while in the mall and we went and I was just like what did I write? Well, when I was at the mall, I was like, in the, I practiced that idea that the the mall is a, your own personal warehouse, so you can go and buy whatever you want whenever you need it. You don't need to buy it and bring it home. When I practiced it and I felt like abundance and I felt like everything is mine, I didn't desire things anymore and I just felt at peace and I felt like, you know what, it's just material stuff. It's not a big deal. I want to focus on what's really important. So when we were at the mall, I held Will's hand and I focused on Will and chatting with Will and then all of the material stuff around me didn't matter anymore. It really all just was stuff. Stuff on display, stuff on sale, just stuff in, 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 in a store. It's just in, in a box with people standing in front of it, offering it to you. And it's just because it's being offered to, to you doesn't mean you have to desire it or need it. And I was like, I felt so free. Well, it was like, is there anything you want to look at? I was like, no, there's not. I just want to spend time with you. And it just felt so free. I left the mall completely stress-free. My mind was present I was practicing being in the moment because usually when I'm at the mall I'm busy thinking about what I where I want to go and what I want to look at and what I want to touch and what I want to desire <sighs> when I was at the mall I just focused on not desiring stuff and just being in present and in the moment I left the mall in mental peace I didn't leave the mall thinking okay I have to come back and I have to buy this and like oh, why didn't I buy that I should have bought it and how much does it cost and how much does it Guys, I don't want to explain it to you. There's just so much freedom once I let go of desiring stuff. I, I don't know. Maybe this is not the best video to explain how to like let go of stuff. But I just I just did it. I just decided. I It was a mental thing. It was a change of attitude because your mind is your greatest asset. Everything exists within your mind. Once I made this decision in my head that I did not want to desire material stuff, that's it. I stopped desiring material stuff. It was that simple and that easy. I was like, whoa, awesome, cool. So I don't know. I don't think I have tips or tricks. I just, just just had to like talk to you guys about how I did it. It had to come from within you to want to change. It had to come from within me to not want to desire material things. It was never going to come from the outside. So yeah, in conclusion, I feel that my stuff is enough. I feel I'm enough without material things. I feel that my stuff is all that I need. And, and if I do need to buy something, I'll go buy something. But I no longer want things. It's different now, you know. And I no longer feel the need to have to indulge myself either. Because, guys, it's a slippery slope. I'm done with that. There's just so much more important stuff, you know. Um, I want to feel the joy of using up my stuff. And if I need to go buy more stuff, it's because I need to. Um, it just, I just... I had to, I wanted to move my, my emphasis away from material stuff because it was just so stressful and it sucked and I was just so done. 
I felt like if, from all the things that I'm decluttering, I'm going to declutter the stress of desiring material stuff. So I decluttered that too. I let go of my desire and it feels really good. So if you liked my video, um, all that I ask is that you subscribe, join the family. I got a lot of minimalist videos for you guys to check out. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!